Hey everybody, Stephen Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse here and today I'm showing you the differences on the new print modes for the Roland Versa Studio BN20. They have three different print modes in what I'm testing right here. This is the heat transfer material from Imprintables Warehouse and I'm using the standard Roland THT or textile heat transfer profile. The first print that we've got coming off here, this is in its standard mode which has been available since the beginning for the BN20. It's a 1440 by 1080 DPI print, and the prints that I'm running off this are 4 inches by 3.2. VersaWorks estimated this job to be at about 7 minutes, and we can see here it came out at just over 8 minutes, 8 minutes and 7 seconds. So I'm going to come back in here and run the same job two more times using the two new updated profiles that are part of the THT or textile heat transfer profile that's in there and the two new modes are draft and draft 2. So the second print I'm going to do here draft is a 1440 by 720 DPI and VersaWorks estimated that this one was going to come out at four minutes. Now obviously I've sped this up a little bit on the prints. It doesn't print this quickly. We wish it did. Uh, but the estimate for it was at four minutes and we're going to come out here at just over four minutes and 40 seconds at, at 4.48. Again, that's a 1440 by 720 DPI. Not a huge difference on DPI in between the two, but a significant difference in time. It's, it's not quite half of the speed or half as uh, long to print on that one as it did for the first one there. Next, I'm going to come in and enable Draft 2 mode here. And Draft 2 is a 720 by 720 DPI. This one is estimated in VersaWorks at 3 minutes and you'll see the print come out here at uh, just over 3 minutes and 38 seconds. So we'll hit print on that one. Again, all three of these are the same exact job out of VersaWorks. The only thing I changed in it was the mode that it's printing in. So either standard, draft, or draft 2, and the DPI. I did notice a difference between the prints. Obviously we're in a different DPI in between all of them. I do feel personally that the standard and draft mode are close enough in quality that the significant time savings is worth it uh, to run in draft mode. I would encourage everybody to check it out on their own and see what they've got on their end and see these new print modes. You can stop by and visit me on YouTube at Stephen Jackson IW. That's my channel. Please subscribe. And imprintables.com is our other YouTube channel. Please subscribe to that one too. And you can check out thegarmentedge.com for any articles and updates I have in the industry. Thanks again for stopping by, everybody. Thank you.